so later I am going to an event uh, where I am going to be like a, basically like a Harry Potter professor. So I am in, like full regalia right now, but I needed to do some errands. And I put the owl on before I thought that I needed to do the errands. So, and it took too long to get the owl on my shoulder. So it's coming in with me to the pet store and to the grocery store. It's time for uh, some confidence workshopping. Put down in the comments what you think I should name this owl. Doing this not to make a statement, but just because I'm going to something in like an hour and I didn't think through everything all the way. I would like to say that the pet store was a success. Uh, I definitely got some <laughs> funny looks, but there was these two little girls in front of me in line and they were just like staring at my bird, like, just like, oh my gosh, who is this cool lady? <laughs> and I was very, it made my day a little bit. And then the guy at the register was also like, I really thought that was a real bird while you were walking down because it's a pet store. So if somebody brought in a bird, I don't think it would be too crazy. Yeah, I put some smiles on people's faces, so that was good. Maybe I can do that in the grocery store. Maybe they'll ask me to leave. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But go Pet Supplies Plus. Not sponsored. Go them, though. If they wanted to sponsor me, I have a cat and a dog who would love to be sponsored. <laughs> Here we are at the grocery store. Um, I am in front of Aldi. Yep, at Aldi gonna go inside might just keep recording the entire time but i'm only going in for like yogurt and i feel like there was something else i was going in there for this is why i should have brought my grocery list and actually should have been keeping my grocery list more up to date than i have been the last few weeks uh but yeah let's go inside with my friend unnamed owl who you can name in the comments oh i'll take Don't know if I can find it here. Gonna try anyway. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, geez. <laughs> oh no, quarter. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. And who is British? That's fun. Fun development.
Well, that was just the most fun experience. Uh, so inside the grocery store, there was a, uh, like an older gentleman and he was like, I love your dress. That's what I said. Thank you in the video. Um, and I ended up checking out behind him in the, the checkout line and he started talking to me, asking me like what I was dressed up for and stuff. I think I recorded during that part. So I put it in here somewhere. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I get to be a magical professor later, oh, so, cool. yeah. I went, to, I went to a school that had four houses. We sang school farm in Latin. Oh my gosh. Oh. And started teaching 1487. I, I get the Oh my gosh, that's, that's incredible. So, <laughs> that was, it was really cool. He went to British public school that had, like, house colors and crests and school uniforms and stuff, and so he said that I am completely rocking the vibe he was like oh you even have Hedwig and I was like oh my gosh this guy this guy gets it so I definitely made his day there was um, another little boy in the grocery store and I'm pretty sure his mom was like about to slap him upside the head for looking at me <laughs> he was like nine and uh his mom definitely made note that I had an owl on my shoulder and was in a full like t-length a-line dress so this is, it's basically like, it's a dress that was supposed to be a Miss Frizzle dress. That's what it is. You know how sometimes you start driving and then you just start reflecting on stuff? Well, maybe you don't, but that's what happens to me sometimes. And that's what happened to me this time in particular. Um, so uh, I sat back in the car and I realized how incredibly uncomfortable I was dressing in this dress and having the owl on my shoulder. And it's not even the dress because I have like worn this dress for a non-special event one time, I think. And it was fine. It was just cause I like wanted to wear this dress cause it's awesome. Um, but I didn't realize how uncomfortable <laughs> I would be with the owl on my shoulder until the guy started talking to me about it. And I was like, I should be really, really happy that he's talking to me about this stuff instead of just making snap judgments like there was a couple older couples in there who were definitely doing like they had the the Sharon Karen haircuts you know well the, the ladies of the couple did the two couples did reflections woo so yeah I didn't realize how uncomfortable I would be with that experience which is odd because I dress up all the time and I love dressing up and I love being in crazy outfits but for some reason shopping in a grocery store in the middle of Ohio does not make me want to be in a crazy outfit it makes me want to like be the most normal boring person and I bet you those grocery store people got a hoot out of it um I know that the the Aldi cashiers are always super nice except for one time I got one salty Aldi person Segway. yeah so I guess this is a good experience for me pushing boundaries for myself too because it's just clothes at the end of the day and wearing this outfit is so fun I feel I feel right proper and rather lush right that's a British that's British slang sorry all the Brits out there uh, but it was so much fun and it's kind of nice to be able to spread smiles on people's faces and just uh give people a little bit of joy during this time of the year it's real cold and dark and we just I think winter solstice was this past week past two weeks something like that so it's just frigid and nasty and dark all the time so I guess if I can spread a little sunshine and a little light to people I will try my best to do it and you know doesn't really make a hundred percent sense why it makes me uncomfortable anyway so I guess this is just a thing that Maybe in the new year I commit to, to dressing a little bit more fun every now and then and not caring about what people think as much. Or at least working through it and finding out that those insecurities are, are my own thing and not necessarily other people's thing. Like, other people think what they want to think. Why, why am I worried about what other people are thinking? So, yeah, spread a little kindness, spread a little joy. Wear something extra fun today. Wear something extra fun, be extra fun. Uh, maybe give somebody a nice compliment if they did something good or if they're doing something really well or if they just look nice but don't be creepy about it please please don't be creepy about it nobody wants that if you genuinely aren't sure what the line is 
Give me the example down in the comments section. Tell me the thing that you're worried might be creepy in the comments. And uh, we'll see from other people if it's creepy. Sometimes it's just attitude too. So be kind, be nice, be genuine. Have a good day. And spread a little bit of a little bit of light. And don't forget to name my owl down in the comments. Because she wants a name. I don't know what to call her. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with me while I do errands <laughs> while dressed for a gig later. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Bye. Over here, you'll see that there are many videos of which you may click on. Do enjoy yourself and have a lovely time searching through my YouTube channel. Spread joy and happiness throughout the world today. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.